in biology, it's very important to understand what independent and dependent variables are. It's important that they're controlled in experiments. This means that you must be consistent with your method and your materials that you use. In this um, experiment here, we can see here, we've got three, one different type of plant species. The independent variable is something that you change. In this experiment, we're giving the plant coke, orange juice and water as different liquids to see their effect on plant growth. So if you have chosen to compare the growth of seeds in darkness and in natural light, all seeds or seedlings must be the same size, same age and same species to be consistent in the experiment. It would be invalid if the seeds were from different species, for example. The variables that are controlled are called the controlled variables. These variables such as plant species, the height and the age are controlled variables. Because plant size and height can be difficult to measure and difficult to start with, seeds may be a better option to start with this experiment. So what are independent and dependent variables? The independent variable is the variable that you change. There's only one independent variable in every experiment. An example of this would be the amount of light in this example. So there's dark and natural light, and that's the independent variable for this experiment. You, need to, you may have a group of seeds in dark and a group of seeds in natural light on the windowsill. And here I've got a picture of just seeds on the windowsill. The amount of light is the independent variable. There should only be one independent variable in every experiment that must be consistent. There may, however, be many controlled variables and sometimes many dependent variables. A controlled variable here might be where you position the seeds in the actual soil. It can also be, you would not put the seeds outside in the natural light, you must keep the seeds inside in the same room where the dark seeds are kept. Because if you put them outside in natural light, that actually means that you're changing the environment and they may be um, exposed to more sunlight or even more water if it rains. You would put the seeds on the windowsill in the same room as the dark seeds. You should consider all factors when designing experiments and controlling variables. The dependent variables are the observed variables from the experiment. Often there will only be one dependent variable, however in this one in particular there's multiple dependent variables. What do you think the observable variables would be for this experiment? Pause now and have a think. Some observable variables include the plant height, the colour of the stem, the colour of the leaves, the size of the leaves, the number of leaves on the plant, the thickness of the stem and the overall how healthy does the plant look. What do you think the results of this experiment would be? Do you think the seeds in the dark would grow at all? What colour do you think the plant in light and the dark will be? Which plant do you think will be the tallest? How about you pause now and have a think about what you th would think will happen. Okay, the seeds in the dark, they may grow taller and also appear skinnier and they will have a yellow colour in the stem. In nature, often plants in a forest will actually have a limited light due to the canopy of the trees above them. So they'll use all the energy in the seed to grow tall and thin. This will lead to a very dwindling and tall plant. The seeds in natural light, may appear shorter and green in colour. Their stem and leaves may appear thicker and it demonstrates a healthy plant and will look much healthier compared to the other one. This is because there is a full spectrum of light from the sun with a break during the night from photosynthesizing. If it didn't have a break through the night, it may not be so healthy. So observations may include the colour of the leaves, the size of the leaves, the, the length and the thickness of the stem, the amount of leaves on the plant and the overall appearance of the plant. Now here is a typical graph of how to draw variables with graphs. Obviously the title must include both the independent and dependent variable. 
On the vertical axes, also known as the y axes, it's always the dependent variable. And on the x axes, the horizontal axes, the independent variable is always placed on the bottom there because you control it. So for this experiment, you may graph the height of plants over time. The independent variable always be placed on the bottom. So common independent variables may be time. So time might be in minutes, in days, or in years or age in months and years. Time tends to be a very typical one that goes on the bottom of the graph. The dependent variable will always be placed on the y axis, and some dependent variables might include rainfall, height, mortality rates, heart rate, breathing rate, and temperature. And there's plenty more dependent variables out there. So for this, your graph should be spread out, so when deciding scales, you must try and stretch your graph to use all the space available on your page. If the plant height maximum is 16 centimetres, try to use one to two centimetres per unit to spread the graph out. So you want to spread the graph out over the entire page. A summary. Now variables always need to be controlled in experiments. Controlled variables must be consistent for the experiment to contain accurate and valid results. There can only be one independent variable, otherwise the experiment is invalid. The independent variable is the variable that you change. The dependent variable is the variable that changes because of the independent variable. This is the variable that you measure. The independent variable is always illustrated on the bottom y-axis of a graph and the dependent variable is always illustrated on the side axes or the y-axis. Experiments must always be repeated to obtain reliable results. Thank you for watching. That's it for independent and dependent variables.